Watch where you're going, you lout. You nearly killed me. God bless you. What troubles you? Can I be of service to you, Sir Divish? I've heard talk that something is going on in Pribis Lovitz. Henry, you've come at just the right moment. I sent a man to Pribis Lovitz, my locator, Marius. What's a locator? A land allocator. I charged him with checking on the condition of the settlement to see if we can start rebuilding it. You're planning to resettle the village? Yes. Why Pribislavitz of all places? Because it's been lying fallow and falling into ruin since it was sacked by Havel Medic years ago. It's about time that changed. Well, it should be safe there now. We trounced that rabble on the battlefield. Yes. And that's why I sent my master locator there. However, he should have been back long since. If you've no objection, I could go and look for him. I'd appreciate that. He probably just got delayed. But I'd be happier if you checked it out. God be with you. I'm getting arsehague sitting here. So, it's all clear to me now. What is? Who are you? You've no business here. I'm Henry, and I was expecting to find you here. What? How could you? Sir Divish's locator went missing around these parts. Well, it seems like he's all out of luck, don't it? Divish ought have sent someone better than you to parley. He didn't send me to parley. He sent me to deal with it. Deal with it? There's plenty of us, and you're on your own, so I think twice about how you're going to deal with that.
Let him go, right now. Or you can stay here and feed the crows, like the rabble who were here before you. All right, all right. No need to be hasty, eh? We'll be on our way then, quietly. That fellow's in the tent over there. Help me. Thank you. My pleasure. Sir Divish sent me to find you. And it looks like I arrived just in time. God's truth. I'm Henry of Scalis. My name is Marius Bielek. Master Locator. Sir Divish sent me here to survey the area. Well, the outlaws are out of the way, so we can go and report to him, right? Not just yet. Those bastards caught me as soon as I arrived, and so far all I've seen is the inside of the tent they tied me up in. I still have a job to do. Come along with me, if you like. We'll report to Sir Divish afterwards. I'll escort you then. At least I can make sure you don't get caught again. What? Are there more of those bandits around? No, no, I, j I just meant... Never mind. Should we get going? This is a good spot for the rat house. Every village must have one. It'll be nice and prominent here. It's on the hillside, so the foundations will stay dry. It can have its own little square, close to the church. There's no better site here. The church is still standing. Good. Good. Whoever built it did a good job. Considering how old it is and what it's been through recently, it stood up well. It won't be an easy job to fix it, but it can be done. Timber alone won't do, though. Hmm. We could fit at least one tradesman's shop here. Maybe a baker's?
There's quite a lot of space here. It just needs clearing thoroughly. Then we could even fit stables here. Approach road and the stream. This bridge needs reinforcing. It won't last long in this condition. I reckon it would make sense to build a weir over the stream down there. The water here is clean and can be used to supply the village until we sink a well. It's a good thing we have this stream. No point in building without a water source. Supplies and trade will flow through here. I can't even see past the trees and ruins whether there's room for anything there. But at least the trees are strong and healthy. All we need is a few good woodcutters, and we won't have to bring in any timber from elsewhere. Stone foundations. They'll come in handy and we're close to the stream. Lots of space here. There's a well here already. All the better. A big space, clean water, close to the village green. A good site for an inn. That's that then. The most essential surveying is done. Hmm. So, Master Locator, ready to start building? There's a long way to go before that. The few ruins that are left are basically beyond repair. It's all overgrown with brush. Oh dear. 
We'll have to get it all cleared before we can start rebuilding it. So it is possible to rebuild everything? Yes, absolutely. But building a whole village is no small enterprise. Hmm. We'll need timber, lots of it. Which isn't a problem in the middle of the woods, of course. We'll have to hire wage labour to begin with. Quite a lot of men. Hmm. Hmm. I think we should get started without delay. There's a lot of work involved, but it'll be well worth the effort. I can just imagine it. The church will dominate the whole settlement. Oh, that's good news. When will you inform Sir Divis? My wait. I'll head to Talmberg right away. But would you keep an eye on things here in the meantime? It would be rather embarrassing to run into more bandits when I return with Sir Divish. No problem. I'll be right here. It shouldn't take us long. My lord, welcome to Pribislavitz. That is to say, welcome back to Pribislavitz after all these years. Well, what's left of it? Not to worry, Marius. <sighs> I'm glad to be back in my old hamlet. Although, it seems to have aged about as gracefully as I have over the years. I beg to differ, sir. It's quite dilapidated, unlike your good self. But at least it's safe now. Thanks in part to Henry here, who also saved me from a predicament that cost me valuable time. Who knows? If it hadn't been for him, we might not even be talking now. Well, lad, in the end, you managed things in your own way, I see. Just as you said you would. I did my best, sir. They didn't look all that tough, so I put a bit of pressure on them and they took to their heels. You were outnumbered and you scared them off? Ah, they were greenhorns. I think they may have been a bit intimidated by me. Let's hope they don't try anything like that again. I'm quite sure they won't, sir. Let's get down to the matter in hand, shall we? What state is Pribislavitz in? Sir, in my official capacity as locator, I am gratified to inform you that the hamlet of Pribislavitz may be renewed. And indeed it offers prospects of considerable expansion beyond its former limits. Splendid. Finally some good news for this province. And badly needed, too. So, what have you discovered so far? I want to know all the details. We had a scout around. We conducted a basic survey, from which we can make a preliminary outline of the parcels. I already have in my head an initial plan of what can be built where. We should certainly have a church. I'd like to preserve the existing one. That should present no serious obstacles. The building is in much better condition than we anticipated. But extensive reconstruction will be required. That's to be expected. But there's a stream here, and a well right in the middle of the village. Yes and there are abundant woods around. Clearing them will provide both extra land and timber supplies that we can use right away. Right now, I believe we're standing on the village green, aren't we? The future green, that is. The village centre will comprise at least six large buildings to begin with. We can't fit any more than that here. So there will be other buildings away from the square, in particular more extensive structures. I'm glad to hear it. I never expected you'd find so much space here in the middle of the woods. The building work we're about to engage in is only the first part of my plan. Later, we'll clear more forests for agricultural land and build more farmhouses. But for now, we'll have to focus on more sensible goals. As you wish, my lord. Rebuilding a whole village must cost a king's ransom, though. It's true it won't come cheap. Before the tradesmen settle here and start producing and trading, it will be necessary to invest a certain amount of capital. A certain amount? How much, exactly? I wouldn't venture to state a precise amount at this point, but I expect it will come to some thousands, even tens of thousands of groschen. Well, that much? I hope you're good at haggling. 
We shall, of course, attempt to procure everything at the best possible price. But raising a settlement from the ashes you see around you is a costly business. Nevertheless, I can assure you, my lord, that if all goes well, the investment shall all come back to you with interest. I hope I shall live to enjoy it, Master Marius. Well, a village isn't a village without villagers. You'll need new subjects. Even preparing the ground for building will need lots of labour. Where can we find so many people, sir? You sound sceptical, lad, but it's a good question. I've already given it some thought. I've agreed with Radzik and Hanish that we shall make an announcement in Rate to invite people to move here and help with the construction, which will bring them many benefits, but also obligations. In addition, I expect the prospects of a new home will appeal to your former Scalitz neighbors more than a makeshift camp by the castle walls. They'll be delighted, sir. A splendid solution, sir. I've also been concerned about how to bring settlers here. But now it seems there will be no shortage of new inhabitants after all. It seems things are finally looking up. We routed the bandits in battle, and Henry took care of the remnants. When can we get to work? Right away, as far as I'm concerned. All we need is people and the necessary funds. And we'll need someone to keep order, at least in the interim. True. I'll leave you some of my men. If I may, I would recommend quickly appointing a bailiff to take responsibility for the renewal of the village, its coffers and its citizens. True. Hmm. First things first. Since you understand these matters best, you shall take charge of the land parceling and building works. You'll be available to the bailiff, but answerable directly to me. I'd be honored, sir. Thank you. And... As regards the office of bailiff, what about you, Henry? Yes, sir. You've proven yourself well. You've demonstrated that you're capable of solving problems, and you command the respect of your former Scalitz neighbors. Well, I'm not so sure. And you're also capable of maintaining law and order. I must concur. So, let us expedite matters. Henry... I hereby appoint you to the office of bailiff of the hamlet of Pribislavitz, in my domain. My lord, it's a great honor. Thank you. You will oversee the initial renewal and administration of the village that will set the ground for further development. <laughs> but don't imagine it'll be a bed of roses, lad. Being bailiff doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. If you don't treat the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. Besides, we can't spare a single Groschen from the Talmberg coffers now, with the province in chaos. So, you'll have to cover the cost for the building work from your own purse. Me? But Marius said it would cost a fortune. True. But from what I hear, you know how to get your hands on coin enough. So, I expect you'll manage it just fine. <laughs> I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. And I am assigning you certain specific tasks. You must ensure the rebuilding of the church. That means complete reconstruction, wall paintings, and a new altar. See to it that in the future the village will be capable of supporting a certain number of people. For that you will need to ensure the construction of essential artisans' buildings. And ultimately, the village must produce sufficient earnings to fund further expansion. But, sir, I've never done... I understand your concerns, but you'll be handsomely rewarded. I shall grant you the proceeds from the whole village for the first five years, and you have my permission to use the surrounding woods and land as you see fit. Well, that's, um... I mean... Are you sure I'm the right man for the job, sir? It's a lot of responsibility. As you said yourself, Henry, it's a great honour. Besides, you won't be alone in it. I'll assist you and supervise the construction work. Phew. All right, then. So, we're agreed. You'll give this document to the Rite bailiff. He'll make the announcement to invite settlers, which should ensure enough people to begin work. At the same time, your official appointment as bailiff will be announced. I don't know what to say, sir. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, Henry. And now I must get back to my duties at Townburg. Send word when everything is prepared. Certainly, sir. Have a safe journey. Farewell, sir.
What now? Before we can start building as much as an outhouse, we'll have to get the whole area cleared, and we'll need lots of people to work the land and parcel it out. Right. So I suppose I'd better get to Ratai first and see to that announcement. Indeed. I'm sure the bailiff will be more than happy. It will get the refugees out of his hair, and the citizens will stop complaining. I'll stay here for now and start planning the building plots. As soon as the labourers arrive, I'll start allocating work to them. I have a document for you from Sir Divish. It concerns the renewal of Pribislavitz. The village you drove those bandits out of? The very same. So it's true then. Good. Good. Let me see that document then. Here it is. So what have we here? Hmm. Hmm. It says I should announce that anyone interested may move to Pribislavitz to live and work, and Sir Radzig and Sir Hanush also give their consent. Hmm. In that case, let's not waste any time. Come along with me. Asparagus and prunes! <laughs> Garlic, carrots, beetroot, onions, all that grows in the ground, fresh, come right up. Hear ye, hear ye. It is hereby announced, in the name of Sir Hanush and Sir Divish, that you, the citizens of Ratai, as well as those who have found temporary refuge here, are permitted to move to the hamlet of Pribislavitz, to the north of Tomberg Castle, wherein you shall be vouchsafed a new life and new dwellings, providing that you shall contribute to the renewal of the hamlet. All those who choose to accept this offer shall be exempted from payment of taxes for a period of five years. They shall be permitted also to make use of timber from the surrounding woods and water from the streams. The hamlet of Pribislavitz lies in the domain of Sir Divish of Talmberg, and all who settle there shall be duty-bound to him. It is furthermore hereby announced that Henry of Skalitz is appointed to the administration of Pribislavitz and the office of bailiff therein, which office and privilege have been conferred upon him by Sir Divish for loyalty and services rendered. I would therefore recommend that our Skalitz friends consider this offer very seriously, as nothing better is likely to come your way any time soon.
I can die of shame to be reduced to begging. But what am I to do, good folk? Scullith lies in ruins. Looks like it's going to be a good year for the apples. I reckon we're in for a decent harvest. I'm not so sure about the vegetables, though. Well, my carrots and radishes are coming along nicely. Something's taken offense at my apple trees. You don't say. What's that then? Fruit bird?